Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, I said it was hot the other day and I should have kept my mouth shut because it's about eight to nine degrees hotter today. My goodness, I'm dying. At least I'll be under the canopy of the 165. All right, we're gonna head out here and try to get some of this straw bailed up from the wheat harvest. Hopefully you saw that video and enjoyed it. Uh, this is really what I wanted out of the crop more than anything was the straw. So I got my fingers crossed, the old 268 does well. I uh, still can't find anybody to run the tractor for me. So I can stack, so we'll be throwing them on the ground. Uh, don't have anybody lined up to pick up straw out of the field, so I guess I'll be lugging it on the trailer myself later on. One man band, you know how that goes. But uh, thought I'd give you a break on the straw hat today since we'll be in the shade. But let's get started. I'll try to get you a few uh, camera angles. Same old, same old bailing, but it's straw this time instead of uh, hay behind my first ever wheat harvest so hope you enjoy it stay tuned a wrap on the straw uh little baler gave me a fit today probably missed 10 ties on the 175 bales i don't know if i just had the settings wrong or what first time i really bailed much straw so anyway i'll bring you back when we uh get this up i'm hoping my buddy will be here at least drive the tractor and hoist all this up and then we'll get to use the elevator i think to put it in the loft hopefully so stay tuned i'm wore out i'm going to the house well, there's a quick shot of the wilting corn really suffering we haven't had any rain here at the farm in july i mean june at all today is the let's see what 18th and they're not calling for any until next week like the 24th 25th the bottom land is doing a lot better you can definitely tell where the moisture is oh i dread this I'm getting way too old to be doing this by hand keep making straw and hay we're gonna to have to get one of those fancy accumulators nothing else is going in front of the 1086 bring you along for a little bit of it maybe if i fall out i'll catch it on camera stay tuned well we're just tagging along behind the trailer here making sure nothing falls off my pathways from fields to the barn are something to be desired and my stacking skills are about the same and i really care not to improve on them because one of two things is going to happen next year Either there'll be an accumulator here or I'm gonna have some help lined up so that uh, it can get put on the trailer right off the baler. Just picking up off the ground by hand is for the birds. But you do what you gotta do sometimes. Um, I'm pretty much out of shape, stay out of shape. But I do think I'm gonna check into an accumulator because uh, the straw and the wheat, I kinda like that. So maybe more of that in the future, you know, at different times in the rotation. So I think it'll be a lot easier to uh, zoom around with the tractor even though it's not air conditioned or anything and scoop up a stack and set it on the big trailer and get it up here in the barn i've got the hay elevator the newer one i think i've shown you guys that so hopefully it won't be too bad getting it from the trailer up in the loft and i'm pretty sure i got most of this sold fingers crossed um but anyway i'm babbling didn't get you any footage out there because the camera ended up being in the sun instead of the shade as it moved and it just got way too hot. I got about 10 seconds before it cut off. It's sitting in the sun too long before I started recording. But anyway, I've got to carry my big tail up this hill. So I guess I'll bring you back uh, when we get the elevator situated and go from there. Stay tuned.
Well, I'll show you a little bit of this here. Um, this is some of the better stuff, meaning that the uh, moisture is still in the ground very well. It's uh, June 19th. We haven't had any rain since May 28th here. Zero. It's been in the upper 80s, 90s. Uh, we're going to hit 95 plus this weekend, but this has not shriveled up. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, there's some over there, smaller, that uh, has curled up on itself. And then the field that I showed you yesterday today looks awful. And the deer are just having a field day in there. It's like they just tromp right down the middle of the field and just push over the plants and lay down out in the middle of the cornfield. But head high to me here. Um, so hopefully we get some rain soon and hopefully all you guys that need rain uh, get exactly what you need. All right, that's all the straw out of the field anyway. I didn't change any adjustments or anything going from hay to straw and didn't change you know how I do things basically uh, mistied probably about eight bales out of 177 which is out of sorts for the baler but it is what it is um, the pickup aspect talked about that already probably what we'll do next year um, that's rough on me at the age I am not too old yet but uh, way out of shape we'll put it that way but at least the elevator went great. We got the straw up there. My buddy stuck around for that. So that uh, that was that was very, very cool to finally get to use that and to get something up there in the loft like my grandpa used to have. So uh, tickled to death about that. But we're going to see what happens. I think I'm going to put that field back in winter wheat again one more year before I put it in regular rotation. We may have talked about that. So definitely be some tillage coming up uh, to incorporate that residue into the soil for right now. Probably let it grow up with grass, burn it down. Just follow and replant and see what happens. I think I'll have a whole lot more ducks on the pond next harvest for wheat than this year and probably be a whole lot better off. But hopefully enjoyed it regardless. Uh, I want to show you a little bit of the corn down there. Prayers for everybody that needs rain or the ones that are getting too much rain. Just this whole year with weather has just been unreal. So like I said before, um, June 19th, we haven't had any rain at all in this month. But don't forget to check out uh, farmmerchbin.com. I'll put a link in the description. Nick and Allison, if you're interested in any of my stuff, hat shirts, decals, water bottles, koozies, keychains, license plates, you name it. They do amazing work and do work for a lot of great channels here. So if you're not interested in anything of mine, go over there and check them out regardless because you might be interested in somebody else's. Um, or if you're just needing something done, get in touch with them. Tell them Nelson IP Farm sent you. So uh, we'll see what happens over the next couple of days, guys. Until then, thank you.